Well, I've reached the seventh hole here. It's a short par three, and I've been playing the forward tees game. That means so far, I've gone around the course playing off much more forward tees than I normally would. Now, I'm not cheating. What I'm trying to do is just have a better score. I want to get used to find out what it's like to putt more for birdies as opposed to pars and double bogeys. I want to try and find out what it's like to stay in the game and to stay present. So it's a good mental game for me to play. I'm just moving up to the front tees. And I tell you what, on this hole, off the back tees, it's over 200 yards. Off the one from back tees, is about 165 yards. And from here, it's a little more than 100 yards. So I'm quite confident I can hit the green, might even have a birdie putt. So as opposed to me probably having to hit a five or a six iron, I've either got a nine iron or a wedge. I'm just gonna grab a, uh, a little nine iron here because it's a little bit into the wind and I just wanna make sure I get over the big uh, ravine that's in front of me. So I can really suggest for all of you who are trying to improve your score, go ahead and play off the more forward tees. Get used to playing strategically off the tee. You might find on a more forward tee that you'll have a dog leg and you've got to hit a three wood off the tee as opposed to your driver. On a situation like this, I've got a short iron in the green, the ball's going to come in higher and stop softer, so it's going to finish a little closer to the hole. But I still have to execute, I still have to be in the present tense, I still have to make a good swing. So all those things haven't changed. It's just playing the game the way Tiger Woods plays it with 300 yard drives, I'm giving myself that advantage. Okay, so I've got to stay in the present tense here and hit a good shot. It's a, what I'm going to term a knockdown nine iron swing. I still want to do everything that I would normally do, but I've just got less club in. All right. It's looking good. Get down and I could be quite nicely positioned to the flag there. We went right over the top of the flag stick. I've got maybe a 15 foot putt for a birdie. Now I wouldn't like to go back to the back tees and try that shot because I probably wouldn't hit it as close. This is about my fourth or fifth birdie putt in a row now. So obviously it's giving me some confidence and I'm playing well. The nerves that normally come with being close to level par or under par, I'm not feeling because I'm just giving myself the chance. I'm being in the rhythm and the routine. <laughs> to be able to pick up your scorecard and have a look and say, all right, now if I just went back one set of tees, two set of tees, what would make the difference for me? What is my course management requiring me to do? I've got to deal with dog legs. I might be able to reach par fives in two. I might be able to drive some par fours, but the hazards are still here. And quite frankly, I didn't really pay much attention to them because I only had a little nine iron into the green. And so it didn't bother me and it didn't affect my swing. And this is the main thing is the mental psyche that I have now as I'm feeling like a tour player. I'm standing there, I'm confident about my swing, I've got these shorter shots in. We'd all like to hit the ball more than 300 yards. I don't and maybe you don't too. So playing this forward tees game is a really good way for you to manage your game and manage your score. Now I'm going to grab hold of my putter. There's nothing better than the feeling of walking to a par three with your putter in the hand. I'm going to do that. I've got a 15 footer for birdie and I'm going to see if I can knock it in the hole. Thank you.